Hey, what's going on, everybody? We're here today. We got the brand new update 2019.40.50.1. Now, I want to give you a disclaimer. I'm on hardware 2.5. I wasn't supposed to be. I was supposed to be hardware 3. I bought my car well after April. And some of you guys are reporting now. You don't see the visualizations. And you're not getting the full self-driving preview. So I want to let you guys know this video is going to be all about 2.5 and what's in it and what it does on the road as well. So let's look ahead in here and see what the release notes say. We got some brand new stuff. We got uh, voice commands, and you can see in there you can set different things like set the temperature to 70, turn on the passenger seat heater, adjust my right mirror, open the glove box, etc. You can see all of these in here. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can see the full release notes on it if you do not have the full self driving downloads. Now, some of the other things that are in here is phone improvements. They're saying that phone improvements now you can read and respond to text messages using your right scroll wheel button. When a new message is received, press the right scroll wheel to have your text message read aloud. I tried it. It's pretty cool. It's not the greatest, but it is pretty cool. So you'll see that here in just a minute. Additionally, if you have a favorite phone contact in your device, you can now easily access them from the favorites tab of your app. Camp mode. Camp mode's pretty fun if you like sleeping in your car. I don't, but I've seen some cool videos that people do, and they go out and clamping, glamping, clamping. I don't know. Some other phrase along with camp and Tesla and glamp and glamour, etc. So we've got this now so that you can turn on interior lighting as well as play music and um, power devices when the camp mode is enabled. That's nice if you want to have something in your car and uh, just let it run down the battery, like air conditioner or USB ports. So if you're a nerd like I am, the Tesla Theater has a brand new update for you. You can now watch Twitch in the Tesla Theater app. So you just basically go into the same location that you were before with YouTube and they've added Twitch. I knew they were going to add some stuff in here. I didn't know it was going to be Twitch at first. So uh, premium connectivity is still required to stream videos over cell. And to subscribe premium co connectivity, please visit your Tesla account online. I did subscribe to that. You might have saw that video today or yesterday, uh, but I'll uh, link that as well. Got a game, Stardew Valley. I did go in there and preview this and see what it was all about. Uh, it's a very top-down, uh, like Zelda feel, if you remember that game right there. But Stardew Valley, it must be a popular one. It must have some sentimental value to the programmers because they put that in here. Backgammon, I went in and told the wife that uh, Backgammon is in the test now. She goes, I used to be really good at that. And I just walked away. Didn't know what to say, but if you're good at Backgammon, it is in here now. Voice keyboard, you can now use dictation to input text in your car. Simply tap the microphone icon on the keyboard to input text via voice control. That's pretty cool. We're going to, again, explore all these here. Tracks version 0 .1, 0 0.1. We're going to try it. It's pretty cool. It's just a beat maker. That's what this is. It's a beat maker, another big toy uh, for the car here. And uh, apparently you can save them and who knows what else you can do. But we're going to explore that and see what goes on. Save dash cam videos on honk. Literally. But you have to enable it first. So we're going to check that out. Dash cam now automatically save clips whenever you honk your horn. To enable tap control, safety, security, save clips on honk. That's really helpful. That's one of the things that you don't realize you need until you have it. Because if you do have someone that pulls out in front of you and then you hit them, you immediately usually hit the horn. If not, I mean, will you remember to go over here and save that footage? Not always. And that's a good thing here because a horn is just another way to uh, save those. Now, driver profiles is another one that's in there. And its additional navigation settings are now saved with your driver prof profile such as volume levels for navigation, voice guidance, as well as traffic display settings. Okay. All right. I'm happy with that. I mean, I'm the only one that drives a car, so maybe it doesn't affect me as much as it does you or the future you that has a Tesla. But uh, unfortunately, I don't know that I'll be able to use it unless someone else drives my car. And new language support also. You can select Danish as your language. To update your language, set taps, controls, display. And as always before, the supercharger improvements on the previous notes and adjacent lane speeds. I've actually got to use that once or twice. Automatic wiper improvements. There's some people that are reporting that there's not much going on with it, but they work for me. And other than that, we're going to go back in. Let's explore what we've got here. So first things first, we're going to go into, while I'm here, let's try it. Open glove box. Well, that was it right there, and it was a little delayed. I don't know if you guys heard that or not, uh, but open glove box. Hey, that worked. Hey, it was just a little slow for me. Uh, probably by the time that I could go in here and quick controls and hit, uh, well, 
Maybe not. Oh, there it is right down the bottom. I could probably unlock it myself, but still, that's not too bad. And we'll set the cabin temperature too. So we're going to go over the voice commands here and just see what there is in here. I don't know all of them. I'm just going to do a couple of them so you guys can see and hear what goes on. Set the cabin temperature to 65. So let's go in here and see one of those. Turn on the seat heater. Turn on the seat heater. Set the seat heater on. Well, as you guys can see, there's some of the commands there work. They work good. And uh, I don't know if it's something with mine here, but let's go ahead and move on. Let's get some of this set up here. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to jump into the safety and security in here. And I want to turn on, sentry mode is on. We're going to save clips on honk. It's on. we got a little icon over here. And I'm just going to beat the horn and see what happens. Hopefully it's saved. Yes. So right there, it's showing that there's a download icon that is saving right there. Again, with this one too, a little delayed. Not too bad, but it gets in there. We have, um, let me see here. We have pen to drive. That's all the same. Allow mobile access, cabin overheat protection, and that's that. So what we're going to do is next jump into the, I'm going to go in the air conditioner here. Ah, look at that right there. Now I wish Tesla would really fix this for me because it is, it's not a bad thing, but it's always weird that there's always controls over here. I want all the controls over here because when I'm driving, I have kids in the back. I, I For the first time that I got this car, I, it took me forever to find that. And maybe you too, but I think all the controls need to be over here. Now that we have this new setup here, we have off, which will, when you leave the car, your air will go off. You have on, it stays on all the time. You have dog mode that you knew about before that puts the temperature up here and says that your owner will be back soon. And then now camping mode. Now I don't know what it does. I don't know if there's anything that says um, anything different on the screen, but we're going to try and find out. So I've got myself off of the seat here and so that it thinks that I've left the car or anything like that. But nothing's really happening in the car here, so we're going to sit back down. There's not a, a screen that comes up that says camping mode or anything like that. Um, but that's pretty neat and efficient there. If I want to set uh, somewhere and the passenger's in the car, I, can, I guess you can turn it on camp mode, and they can have access to everything that's on the screen, the seats, the charging, and so on and so forth like that. So super cool improvement. If you guys camp, leave it down in the description. Let me know that you guys camp. I haven't camped out in this car. I'd like to. Maybe a little air mattress under the stars. Who knows? We'll see. We'll try something one of these days. And the next thing that we're going to go into is we're going to do some text messaging here. All right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to check out the Bluetooth uh, enabling here so that your car can actually read your text message. There's a little something you have to do to get it set up. you got to tap the Bluetooth icon over here and make sure your phone is connected. And what you're going to see is uh, a couple of options. It's first going to look about like this where it says sync messages. Now you're going to have to turn that on and then turn this on. And if it asks you to reconnect your phone, I think it does that for um, to just reauthorize the Bluetooth delivery and sending. And you might have to go into your phone. If you have an iPhone, it's like settings, Bluetooth, and then uh, notifications on. You'll get a pop-up here, and it'll tell you exactly what you need to do in order to get that working. That's pretty much it. So let's jump in and see what the text messages look like. We're going to see if we can read the last text message. Read my last text message. Not sure. All right, so we're, wait, for, oh, look at that. There's a text message just came in right there from, let's see, let's see, we can tap to read it. Lindsay Dickinson says, hi, Mark. How are you today? Okay. I'm going to tap to reply. I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you doing? All right, so we're going to try and get this text messaging working here. I got a text message from the wifey there. She did send something. I have the chime on. It worked great but I'm trying to get a reply over to her. So there it is, Lindsay Dickinson. It doesn't show the message on here, but you can tap it to read it, to expose it. And what we're gonna do is tap to read. Lindsay Dickinson says, hi, would you like meatballs for dinner? Matter of fact, I would. Let's see if we can reply to her and see if that will work. Yes, please. Not sure. I'm not able to get a reply back to her, but maybe it's something I did a reboot. Well, I clearly got something going on with the voice commands here. 
not working real well for me. Um, we'll try that again later. But as of right now, that's still pretty cool. I can read the text messages I'm driving. All right, so let's go into the entertainment here. Now, don't forget, most of you guys are stuck over here on the theater side. When you are looking for the gaming area, don't forget it's up here. Arcade and theater at the top right there. So we're going to jump right into Twitch here and see if any of those favorite streamers that I have seen before are on. I don't know if they are or not, but we're going to look up Summa Deluxe here. Okay, so what we need to do is we're going to unmute it. And we're going to see what we can do here. we got the volume working. We're going to see if we can max screen this or full screen it. And yes, we can. And that looks like right there. We can do full screen like that. You can watch it. Remember, you can't watch this if you're at driving around, but you can do it if you're a supercharger, and that will be perfect like that for the use of, of pretty much being able to see what's going on on your you know social areas here if you want to see what's going on on Twitch. That's it. So Twitch is pretty cool. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to jump into uh, the arcade, and we're going to look at Stardew Valley. This is one that I haven't heard of, uh, but it's very Zelda-esque. It looks like Zelda, if you haven't remember, that's a top-down left right kind of a game no uh, side shooter or side running game like mario is and let's see what this does when it loads up now the load time was painful on that one there so we're going to start off where we left off at and for this particular game here wow load time's pretty slow all right looks like we have some tasks we have to do here and it looks like uh, when you walk up to things you can come over here and swipe on them and hit them collect you some rocks some wood, plants. There you go. Can we drop a tree down? We sure can. I feel bad for doing this in a Tesla. You know, all environmentally friendly and stuff. All right, so this is it right here. This is the game. If you can't find out where your X is, it's literally at the top. You just have to tap the top of the screen. Because if you do tap in here, it won't go. So just tap top screen, hit X. You'll be able to get out of there. And now there's backgammon here. And I don't know. Anybody know how to play this? Because I absolutely do not. I have no idea how to play it. I think it gives you some hints if you hover and hold on your um, your piece there. It'll give you a hint on where you can go. All right. So the last thing that we really want to look at here. In the arcade again itself, you can find it by hitting that up arrow and then going into Toy Box, is the tracks right here. Oh, this sounds pretty fun. I am excited about it. I like music. Most of you guys do too. All right, so we've got this one here. This is tracks. This is a, a beat maker you can use to make different beats here. I showed it to a friend of mine that makes music, and he's like, no, I'm buying a Tesla. So if this is cool for you, it's cool. This is the, the default or sample beat that's in here. Let's listen. So let's make a beat here. We're going to do some techno drums, and from here we're going to add a couple of different ones. Let's see, we're going to do an acoustic bass, and then we're going to add a acoustic snare, and then drums, and then a low tom. So that's going to sound like this. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the beat. Apparently, what we do is we just do record, and then we do just a quick, let me stop it. We're going to hit record, and then we're going to start a beat. And let's see what happened there. Apparently I need some work at making beats, but let's check out one of the sample ones here. We're going to add this and then you can come in here into beat samples and we're going to do, I don't know, let's do rock stomp and let's listen to that. In here, you can speed up the, the beat of it or the pace. And then when you're done with it, you can come over here and save it. And that's pretty much all this is going to be here. This is just something to, to goof around in if you're bored at the um, at the superchargers. And I think that's about it. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to get out and go take a drive real quick, see if there's any visualization changes. I don't think there is. 
Uh, again, this is hardware 2.5. We don't have the necessary hardware to see the visualizations, but I am going to check my road and see if the autopilot does any better going around the turn as I always do in every one of these. And so let's get over there and check that out right now. We're going to go see how that, uh, that works. You ready? Let's go. All right, so we're taking a quick drive here. I want to see how this all reacts here. I've got my hand on the steering wheel. I'm going to slow down and see if we can acknowledge these stop signs up here because these are the stop signs that would not recognize the last time I did this video for you guys with uh, acknowledging the stop signs. So I don't see any visualizations on here and no impending warning about running it. I can't do it because there's other cars here. But we're going to go down here. We're going to try it again. So this road doesn't have much lines on it, but autopilot picked up really well. I think that happened as always here. So we're going to see if we can kind of run this stop sign, but not really. Uh, we're doing 23 and I got my foot on the brake. We got this here. No warning. All right. So this is the road that I always test my car on after I get a new software update. I want to see how well it goes around this turn here. The road's clearly marked. It's a nice sweeping right. And uh, usually what happens is it, it gets into the outside of the lane uh, and goes into oncoming traffic there just a little bit. And as I approach this flashing sign that's up here, what I do is I generally just put the car in, um, in about 25 miles an hour. It indicates this turn should be taken at 15. So we're going to try it at 20 miles an hour. And for this purpose, I'm just going to let my hand lightly off the steering wheel so that I can have it there. And it goes around here, goes around, goes around. And then I took over there because I didn't know what's going to happen. We'll go back around a couple of times just to see. But as of that right there, that looked pretty good. That actually came out pretty good there. I wasn't confident and comfortable with it, but it still worked. I didn't drift over in the lane like usual. Okay, here we go. And we're going to get our speeds down to on to 25 right here. There we go, 25. Yep, same same effect. Crosses over into this lane over here. Straightens itself back up and does good there. But that's the same uh, effect that happens every time. And that's the same behavior that happens pretty much every time that I do this. So I don't think that there's anything different about it as of right now. Not at least on that turn. We're going to go back through and see on the other way. All right, so we've got our speeds here. We're going to do our speed at, what did I do it at 20? We're going to do it at 20. And right there. Okay, so at 20, should be able to make it around this turn. It is cutting close on the inside first. And then big jerk. Apply force. And that's how that goes. So Autopilot did not make any changes on that last one, at least based off of that turn there. Other than that, it looks pretty good. Let's go down here and see if we... I know we're not going to, but let's just see if we get a red light. Let's see if we get a red light notice here on screen. Nope, I see the car turning, car in front of us. But on hardware 2.5 confirmed, you will not get any notices of traffic lights, stop signs, cones, or any of those things there. Hopefully for January that will come about. We'll see though. All right, so I think that's going to sum it up for today. Not much of a change there in autopilot. Uh, we don't get the visualizations on 2.5 hardware. That was expected. Hopefully by January we'll be able to get that. And then um, other than that, with the games and some of the different features in there, the text messages was a little bit buggy. So on that, this update's pretty cool. I hope you guys appreciate it. I'm just sad that I don't have the full self-driving preview. Other than that, I think it was pretty good there. If you guys like this video, don't forget to hit that bell button. See some more of the videos that have come up. I've got two other ones coming up for some maintenance and uh, another uh, video about our scooter. So that's going to be one of those things that you guys should check out. Thanks for liking, subscribing, hit that bell button. And as always, I'll see you guys again soon.